I knew I always wanted to have kids, but I always wondered, could I? I'm Anna Peng and I'm mammy to Josiah. So I was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis when I was two years old. Um, so I've had it quite a long time. Um, so it's been challenging, you know, growing up with it as well, being in school, um, just doing everyday things, playing outside. Um, but I was able to get through it and I had a lot of support. So then, um, just with all the flare-ups over the years, then obviously a lot of damage was done to my joints. Uh, so then when I was 22, I got both my hips replaced. Um, eventually when this recovered, I went to college in America. And so when I was there, I met my husband. So it was later on then when, after we got married, when we decided we want to have kids. And I knew then this was something that I needed to talk to my doctor about. But then you know, like, where arthritis, like, I knew I couldn't just get pregnant. Like, I had to talk to somebody first. So I had a conversation with the doctors and then I got referred to Harold's Cross and Hollow Street and speaking with then the medical profession there about you know getting pregnant and having arthritis. Um, the number one thing was to make sure my disease was under control. After a while I did get pregnant and I was so happy um, but unfortunately then at about nine weeks I did miscarry and then this miscarriage over the next few weeks brought on a massive, massive flare-up. So that brought lots of damage and just a lot of pain to my body. And of course, there was no way I could get pregnant then. So after just talking to my doctors and stuff and trying to find the right medication, and everything to bring my arthritis back into remission in order then to be able to get pregnant. So once we did this, um, getting pregnant then didn't just happen either. You know, it took another while and it did take about a year or so, and then eventually when we did get pregnant, um, you know, it was just, it was amazing. So during the pregnancy, like, I felt really, really good, um, despite the morning sickness at the beginning, of course. I was getting checked a lot, still by the doctors, by the team. Um, I was referred for physio, so I was given exercises to do, and obviously just eating well and stuff just to help myself and the baby. So I knew I always wanted to try deliver naturally, you know, and I was unsure with the hip replacements, how that would work. So with the team in Hollow Street, they helped me and gave me support and stuff. And then when the time came, I was able to actually deliver a natural and I was just, it was amazing feeling and it was just brilliant. So uh, being a mother was just amazing. I just absolutely loved it. And I knew with the hormones in pregnancy, it like, helped my arthritis, so I knew I wanted to continue that. So I decided to breastfeed for a good few months after. Um, and then it was probably when it was about 10 months, then I could just feel myself getting sore and sore. And then eventually by the 11 months, I just, I couldn't even hold him in the position to feed him anymore. I was in so much pain, I couldn't, change his nappy, lifting up his legs to change his nappy was very hard. Um, and it was around this time then that I needed that I needed help and I had to admit that I needed help. So it was at that moment then when I, I called a local care team social worker and was like, I need help. I like I need help. So I got the care that I needed. They came over and they helped me and um, then my support, my family around me started helping out more. My parents were working, so both of them had to adjust their lifestyles to help me as well. Um, eventually then my mom had to become my carer and had to give up work. Actually, I remember it was I like couldn't get him up to bed. I put on him, I couldn't even walk. I called them social worker, just bawling down the phone. I left her loads of messages. Like, I need help, I need help. But it was then trying to get him up to bed, actually. Then I put him and he needs to go to bed. My husband was still at work and I just looked at the stairs like a mountain. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to get him up there? I remember just opening my front door and being like, please, someone be outside just to help me lift him up to bed. And then, that was it, yeah. <laughs> so, like, obviously after I had Josiah, like, I was still seeing my rheumatologist and they had told me that something, you know, in a flare of may come after having a child. So, um, and so I was kind of, for it, but not at the same time. Like I knew it was coming. I mean, I've had many of these over the years, but it was different this time, you know, because I had a son and now, you know, if it was just me, it's, it's totally entirely different. You know, you could just rest, whatever, but now I have a son to take care of. So when it came, it was, it was there, but I, it was all, also unexpected too, you know, and the challenges were completely different than they were before. So just because of the arthritis and the pain that I was in, you know, the deterioration just happened with the shoulders. And so eventually it did lead to shoulder replacement. So obviously this again took more time away from Josiah and being in hospital, recovering after as well. But again, good support, good help around that just helps so much with him. 
So Josiah now is two and a half years old, so life with a toddler is busy. <laughs> um, but he's great, he's, we play and go out and go to toddler groups and, you know, parent to toddler groups and stuff. And we just really, just really enjoy hanging out and, um, yeah, I just wouldn't change anything for the world. If I was to give advice on expected parents, um, I'd say be prepared, talk to your doctor, get linked in with your community, OT, community physio, social work, have stuff there, numbers there just in case, you know, just be prepared. And don't be afraid to ask for help.